Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we're going to continue working on our JSUP project. We're going to work on the Image Grabber class. And so this is the class that grabs the links of the images. So here we'll create a new class. Call it Image Grabber. And here we'll create an elements object. We'll call this images. And then a document object as well called doc. And then a J panel. And then we'll create a constructor that takes a document. And then this dot doc is equal to doc and images is equal to doc dot select. And select is a different method of getting elements. So here we're going to have the tag of image. Then we're going to be looking at the attribute called source. And we're going to ignore some characters. And then after the dot, we're going to see if it is a PNG file or a JPEG file. And sometimes the E is in the JPEG extension, so we'll have it as optional. And then we'll also check for GIFs. And so this should give us every element that has an image. And we'll initialize our panel. So panel is equal to new J panel. And we'll pass that a new grid layout. And that's going to be based off the size of the image. So images.size. And we'll make that one across. And we're going to create this method right after we finish this constructor. But it's going to be called grab images. And then here we're going to set the viewport of this class. And that is part of J scroll pane. So we're going to extend J scroll pane. And last thing we'll do here in the default constructor is set the preferred size. So we're going to make that 350 by 350. And then now for each element, and we'll call this image. That is in images. We're going to do the same thing that we did earlier. So here we just copy this. And here we're going to add it to panel instead. Now in the website parser class, we're going to add another tab. And this is going to be called images. And we're going to create a new image grabber. 
and pass that doc. And in the image grabber class, we need to change this to SRC since we're trying to get the source of the image. Let's go ahead and test this. And here we have the two images that pull up when you're loading google.com. And so in our next video, we'll turn these into clickable links.